What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode of the Formula One My Team Career Mode, episode number two of season three, episode two out of 16. We're off to Jeddah for the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix here in this episode, but if you guys did not watch the last episode, oh my god, we went to friggin' where was it? We went to bah, 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 the Bahrain Grand Prix, and if you guys did not watch the last episode, highly recommend you go check that out before watching this one, because, spoiler alert, we finished fourth. George Russell won the race, followed by Lando Norris, Sergio Perez, myself, Max Verstappen, Lewis Hamilton, Oscar Piastri, Fernando Alonso, Carlos Sainz, and Dennis Hauger, the rookie for Aston Martin, gets points on his first season. Fernando has done more for us now than any teammate. He's actually gotten points on the board. He's helping us out in constructors. That is a big positive. Lance Stroll and uh, Charles Leclerc both DNF'd out of this race. So sucks for them, but Russell leads the championship. As you'd expect, we sit fourth in constructors. And yeah, just got to keep racking points on the board, man. We should be all right. Looking forward to the rest of the season. Should be a fun one, but... Here's how the upgrades are looking at the moment. We have two aerodynamic upgrades in the works, which should be here between Australia and Japan. So, got some time to wait. Hopefully, we can build up some more resource points. There's some chassis upgrades I want now, now that we're fully up and ready to work here. So, yeah, we could get some really big chassis upgrades now that we're up to a spec 3 on the chassis. But, anyway, Jetta Corniche Circuit. You guys know how much I love Jetta. I believe I've won here the last two seasons. Let's take a quick look at that. We won Jetta in season two, and we won Jetta in season one. So, if we can have a good race here today, it would be very, very good. We need as many points as we can get. I'm pretty tuned up around this track, so let's head to the Jetta Corny circuit, and let's see if we can get ourselves a W. We're here today on the shores of the Red Sea in the Lower Hejaz Mountains to visit one of the newest circuits on the Formula One calendar. We're in Jeddah, home to what we all hope is going to be a thrilling Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. So let's take a look at the topographical map of the Jeddah Street Circuit. As you can see, a number of challenging corners for the drivers to master here. We'll see just how much the teams have benefited from their time spent in practice this weekend. And like many street circuits, this track has the potential to punish drivers that get it wrong. Let's hope we avoid any safety cars today. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Sparkles lines up on pole position and Oscar Piastri completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen, Perez, Russell, Norris, Stroll, Sainz, Leclerc, Hauger, Hamilton, Hulkenberg, Sonoda, Albon, Joe, Fernando Alonso, Behrman, Ocon, Ricardo, Sargent, Theo Porsche, and Valtteri Bottas begins the race from the back of the grid. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track where preparations are underway. Alrighty, we will lead them to green here at the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. It'll be a big lead for yours truly here to start off. And while it won't be a big lead, we get we just got it's pretty big that we got the the lead though. Fernando, oh, I'm disappointed, man. 16th, and I'm on the pole, out qualified by a Sauber. Good grief, man. But. We're on pole position. Oscar Piastri, Max Verstappen, Sergio Perez, and George Russell are all behind us. Should be a very interesting race, this one. Should be a very interesting race. The Ricky Bobby Fig Newton's car. I think it can get its first win here today. I think it could I think it can get its first win. Can we three peat at Saudi? I think we can, but the F1 gods will be the judge of that today. Let's grit in gear, and let's go racing in Jeddah. Oh, damn, good launch for Piastri. He's going to clear me, you know. 
for how long? there but Oscar Piastri beats me in the turn one can we have a go at him though maybe retake this position we're gonna look to the outside of this corner side by side with Piastri and we have reclaimed the, the lead with the power of overtake and off we go. I want to create this lead as big as possible. I do not want these guys to have a shot at me all race, so I just want a big, comfortable lead. A little wide there, but it'll do. Up to six tenths of a gap now, but the bigger we can get that gap, the better. Well... Gap is up over a second now. I like that. Oh, I keep getting my breaking points mixed up. I always think the 150 marker is the 100 marker. It's an inviting corner, that one. And I don't want to screw it up. Just like I screwed that corner up, but... Luckily, these corners for me here in the first sector are a hell of a lot better. At least I know him a lot better. Perez is just slightly within a second of me. We're gonna... Crap. Get away from him here, slowly but surely. Oh my god, we're... How has the fuel gone down that quickly? I started with .3 extra. Oh my god, I swear to god, dude. If this race comes down to fuel, I'm gonna be so pissed. Wow. Guys, I can't believe I'm saying this, but we're into the negatives on fuel. The negatives. How has this happened, then? How has this happened? We're gonna need a safety car now so we can save fuel. That's just wonderful. Fantastic. Approaching the pit window, and you're gonna be on medium. Oh, caution! Green flag. Okay, red flag, mate. Red flag. Oh. No please. We'll oh, the thank okay, God. Oh, this could help me save fuel. This could up. help me save fuel. Oh my God! Please tell me this could help me okay. save fuel. Free stop. So let's think very carefully about our Please, 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 please tell me this will save Jabu fuel. Here, well. Oh, it barely saved me any fuel, and I lost two spots off the start, and I went wide. What the hell was this? I don't even know who DNF'd, or what the red flag was for. Watch out for understeer in the wake of the car ahead. Try to get past as quickly as you can. Push and now I'm going to have to pray for a safety car on top of all this, so I can actually save fuel. We get a free pit stop through it all, but... God damn it, man. I'm down to fourth. Fourth. We're gonna look to the outside on Russell here. here. Clear. Now we got our eyes set on Piastri and Verstappen. Looks like this Piastri overtake will get done very easily. Side by side with the McLaren. Oh, come on, there we go, clear the McLaren. And now it's all eyes set on Verstappen. Oh, Piastri's hitting me in the butt. That's a bit weird, bud. Oh. He's getting to my inside. We did pinch him in there a little bit. Verstappen's gonna lead this lap. 
Let's see if we can get the overtake done here on the Red Bull driver. I think I found out what might have brought out the red flag. Here's Dennis Hauger's Aston Martin. Loops it right in front of the pack. Hamilton has nowhere to go. These guys have nowhere to go. Fernando's included in all this. And there's when the red flag has been displayed. Big, pot, big pile up that causes the red flag. That's what caused our safety car or our, our standing restart here. You know what we could do? We actually have created a little bit of a gap here to Piastri. I could just stay behind Max, save fuel, and maybe, well, stay behind Max and maybe, just maybe, save fuel. I'm going half throttle just so I can try and save some fuel. And it seems to be working, you know. It seems to be working. So if we can just do this for a while, and maybe we can just chill behind Max, crap. Make the move on the last lap or something. Maybe that's the move. Reminder, and I set the fastest lap doing that, that too. So short, we don't need to risk a DNF chasing records, so let's think about starting to conserve fuel, maybe lifting early into the corners. Oh, trust me, Mark, I'm thinking about it. I am very much thinking about it. Alright, Max. You're gonna help me save fuel today, whether you like it or not. Well, if nothing else, this fuel saving strategy has at least kept me at a similar base to what I had before. I'm pretty much running 70% throttle max the entire lap. As much as I want to keep up with them, I really have to put saving first right now because I do not want to go into the rest of this friggin' race with 0 0.10 fuel less than what we need. Okay, Max, let's do this. Man, this is probably so boring to watch, but it's what I have to do. Okay, so we're leading our teammate by 10.2 seconds. If I want to make the end of this race... It's what I have to do. During that corner, I just seen green for the first time since like lap five. Oh, uh, Max, 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 Max. Just gotta keep saving, man. Just gotta keep saving. We'll have our go on the final lap. We got the fastest lap bonus points too, but. Ready to pounce for when the time arises. Okay, we are nearing the target for what I think we need to be at for fuel. We're, pl pl we're plus 0 0.00, or plus 0 0.08 now to the good. Well, this, there we go, it's already down to 0.7. I want to be 0 0.10 on the final lap and it looks like we're gonna have that so we're gonna see what happens here man just gonna have to wait and see keep working that throttle keep buying our time and we will have a chance I tell you what Oscar Piastri is kinda slowly but surely creeped his way up to us with those hards Maybe you can get up here, maybe you can't. Oh, Bottas is out. So you're telling me... I'm just realizing, I'm looking up at the top right now. 
You're telling me that that red flag, no one even DNF for it? That's kind of crazy. Someone must have spun out on the middle of the track or something. But half a lap more till I make my move, Max. So here's what happened to Valtteri Bottas' Sauber. Ooh, that baby blew up. That baby done blew up. An actual DNF this time, unlike our red flag restart there, but... And that is going to be Valtteri Bottas Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. Done and dusted. Out is the kick Sauber. Alright. Showtime. We've got the fuel. We've got the overtake. Okay, mate, well, we did have the race. overtake, final but... Lap. Full throttle from here, baby. Oh, this is so relieving. Well, we're currently on the outside of Max. Can we hold it? We sure can. We pinch him off a little bit to clear ourselves for the spot. Nice move. Keep going. And whoop. I'm even going to try and get the fastest lap here, too. We've got a, over a second gap on Max now. Man, that fuel is still looking good, too. 0.03. We're going to have enough into the final corner for the final time. Not only is it going to be the first win for Dagley Dennett Racing, we 3 P to Saudi. That's how it's now done. We can fight. Now we can fight. No announcement, no nothing. <sighs> Whatever. We get the win. That's what counts. Well, Huge one for the mechanics and the there. team. We knew we were going to come in season. here and be a threat, and but fuel threw a wrench into things, and we capitalized on it all, even well with the circumstances. Your winners here at the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix should be a Grand Slam pole fastest lap and the race win. So oh, yes. Ricky Bobby, top step of the victory. podium. And a brilliant performance from them all. Oh, how about that, sunshine? How about that? Raise that trophy proud, son. Raise that trophy proud. You have won the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix for the third year in a row. Ah, lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Simply lovely, as some would say. On to the next, baby. Come on. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes, sir! Winners of the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. Followed by Max Verstappen, Oscar Piastri, George Russell, Lance Stroll, Carlos Sainz, Lander North, Charles Leclerc, Lewis Hamilton, and Dennis Hauger. Round out the top ten. Let's not look at that just yet. Uh... Alex Albin finishes just outside the points. Perez fell all the way to 12th. Oh my god. Hulkenberg, Sonoda. Alonso did make up a spot, so fair enough. Oliver Behrman, Logan Sargent, Joe Gong Yu, Daniel Ricardo, Espan Alcon, Teo Pocher, and Valtteri Bottas, your lone DNF. Point standings, we are tied for the points lead with George Russell. And Mercedes lead the constructors. We're only off by six, though. We're only off by six. You, my friend, we need to get you scoring again. We need to get you scoring again. Consecutive races scoring is what we need. But once we get more upgrades on the car, that should help. But tied for the championship lead. We just got to keep upgrading that car. And we'll be all set. So a win in the books for Dagley Dennett Racing. Got to shake it before you bake it, baby. And this is a win that'll be much valuable for the championship later in the season. Well, well, well then, guys, that is going to do it for Season 3, Episode 2 of the Ricky Bobby My Team Career Mode. That's what I might as well call it. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, make sure you smash that like button, leave a comment down below, subscribe with notifications to not see never miss a future upload, and don't forget to join me on the Patreon for early access to all this content and so much more. 
Thank you guys for watching once again, and I will see you at the Albert Park Circuit for the Australian Grand Prix next time out. Take care, and peace!